So that's the problem we're having with our uh, RV door lock. Uh, we can't seem to get our uh, deadbolt locked when we shut the door from the outside. It's really sticky. I don't know if you guys have ever had that problem. Now I've tried spraying some. Let me grab it here. Some of this silicone spray, which has worked great for the awning and everything, but for some reason it's not helping the deadbolt to turn easy with the key. And uh, so I decided I'm going to tear apart the uh, inside the latch here and see if I can figure out what's going on. We've had a lot of rain recently, and I don't know if that got into the door or if it's just uh, the cold that we're going through. It's in the 40s and 50s. Um, not sure if that's uh, the door swelling a little and causing it to get out of alignment. So what I'm going to do is take this off and look in there. And then I'm going to pull the whole mechanism off and see if I can figure out what's going on. And I don't know if you've ever done that or if you've seen what's, uh, what it looks like inside here. So we're about to take a look and discover it together. So hold on, let me uh, get some things arranged so I can work with two hands. Okay, you are going to need a Phillips screwdriver, at least for our model, that's what we're gonna need, and probably a pair of pliers. You almost always need pliers. So grab some. And so this is what I've got. And let's uh, start pulling that off. The so first thing I'm going to do is pull this guard off there. Yeah. These are really small screws. You can see them? So. that and you can see this slides pretty good on the inside For some reason it's with the key out here so I'm not sure I can even fix that it might uh, be more of a mechanical problem that I need to replace it so <laughs> Yeah, they're about an inch long, if you can see that. And they're all the same size, I believe. And you might want to hang on to your handle because it couldn't fall all the way apart. What we've got here. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And uh, this is what the inside of the inside latch handle looks like. So how that works is when you pull this to open your door, it just pushes that little lever, which pushes this, which operates your bolt. And then for the deadbolt, which is the thing I'm having trouble with, not sure why that's sticky, but that's why I need the pliers to be able to turn it. And see, that's turning easy here. I did spray some silicone in it again. Um, but uh, let me grab the keys. And try it without the handle on. Yeah, it's still a little sticky. It's doing better. It was just misaligned. And Yeah, now that's working more normal. I bet it was just misaligned in there. Now that I have it loose, it's lining up better. I 
been thinking about going to one of those digital um, latches anyhow, but just not doing it yet, so I gotta fix this. Okay, so I think that pretty much takes care of everything. This is a really simple mechanism. Just on a hinge, and it's one piece. That, and then, as if you can see it, I guess if this thing gets stripped out, it's easy enough to replace. It just has that lock washer. Take that off and uh, fix it. So now you just gotta get it lined up so everything works good. And put back in and then we'll see how it goes together. So screws. Oh by the way, before I do that, if you've never seen the inside of your RV door, if you can see this, that is just foam. So it's about what inch and a half thick foam with this some kind of shell over the inside and the outside. That's all that makes up your door. Yeah, let's see if we can get this all back together. So I am holding the outside because it would uh, just push out, I think, if I didn't. Got that one started. Let me get this. And before we tighten these, I do want to try to get it lined up one more time. This uh, screwdriver is slightly magnetic, which helps a lot. These a little tight. Yeah, we can still adjust this. Okay, that's working really smoothly right now. Let me tighten this a little more. And then key. Key. Yeah, that's going really smoothly now. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna tighten that all the way yet because I still gotta put the guard on out here and get everything lined up. Not sure which way that went. That way. These had those really tiny screws, you can see, quarter inch, I believe. Once I get this back on, then I'll test it again. Make sure nothing's hitting. Pretty good there, so I'm going to tighten these down. They're kind of loose, anyhow, but that may have been part of the problem. And then I'm going to go on and tighten the other four. Remember, this is just foam, so you don't want to really re hard on them because you end up denting the door. Okay, now the other problem is just getting this lined up with the hinge here. I mean, not the hinge, the uh, this part of the lock. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what all the names are called. Okay, let me try the key test. Nice. Nice. Okay. And this works and that works so we won't be locked in if we shut it that's what happened to us funny story i went and we were going somewhere and i went and locked it the door on from the outside and the nose is really sticky and i uh put the key in turned it and kind of forced it to lock it and then when we came back i almost went unlock i really had to reef i was afraid i was going to break the key off in the lock but i just 
wiggled the door while I was uh, turning the key and it finally came undone. So I figured well, I better fix it. Anyhow, let's shut the door, all this stuff inside, and see what we got. Oh yeah, nice and easy. I think we did a good job lining this stuff up. So that works, and that's, yeah, that works really good. That's easier than it did since it was new. Really good. Let me close it now and do the key test from the outside. Here we go. Oh yeah, let's see if that worked. Yep, that was perfect. Almost locks itself, <laughs> which may not be good. So there you go. Um, looks like I uh, got that fixed, and it was actually easier than I thought it would be. They, uh, they're actually simpler than the normal house doorknobs, so that made it easy. And uh, for those of you, if you wonder, can you, like on most uh, newer trailers, they just have a lock, a deadbolt that you you can't accidentally lock yourself out because if you lock it before you shut the door, obviously it's like any deadbolt, um, the door won't close. Um, but you can actually accidentally lock yourself out if you use the key to the handle, the upper handle there. It'll, uh, which we never use, uh, we never lock it. But if you happen to lock that um, with the door open and forget that you've done that, the door, and you accidentally leave your keys inside, the door will uh, lock. <laughs> so uh, don't do that. And uh, anyhow, so now I gotta go find a spare key. Not that I did it, but I just gotta go find a spare key so I can get in. See ya.